Shalom, beloved. Shabbat shalom. A word. All we long, I keep hearing the Spirit say, and the sun shall not smite thee by day. The sun shall not smite thee by day. Why would this word keep reverberating now? The sun shall not smite thee by day. There are people right now whom the sun is smiting. There are nations who have smited the earth and their people on it with a perpetual blow who now are being smited by the sun. But the word of the Most High says in Psalm 121, let me get it, let me find it. I'm going to read it from verse 6. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. The sun shall not smite thee by day. There are people in Europe calling it an apocalypse, the heat wave, unprecedented, temperatures breaking records, no record of anything this hot. Even the heat records they had have been broken. They have up to and possibly over 2,000 people dying. The last record that I have was over three or four days ago. The sun shall not smite thee by day. They call it a climate change. There's a shift in the atmosphere going on, okay? And that climate change is true, but you see, these scientific, I want to explain it away, go to a politician and we'll make agreements and hold each other accountable as though we control the world, which at one time many thought they did and abused it. But now... The earth is cleansing herself. She is cleansing herself. You know, two things, and this is going to be short, beloved. I'm going to try to keep it short. One of the other things that came to mind was something that the Lord said. I'll quote one and speak on this. You know, when we go into the book of Romans, they worshiped the creature more than the creator. So he gave them over to a reprobate mind. Okay. Even though they knew what they were doing was wrong, they celebrated others that did the same. They worshiped idols. And when you think about it, particularly any of us that I watch old movies, years ago, they called them idols. They called them movie idols and stars, they idol worship. You have idolatry going on where people are held up as far more than what they are. They give them idol worship. It's a form of or outright idolatry. But you see, Yahuwah had an answer for it. He said, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, once upon a time in this country and all over the world, they believed in this thing of Darwin's theory, natural selection, survival of the fittest. And even their lives are turning against them. He's laughing them to scorn. They used eugenics to attempt to destroy one group of people and tried to call it survival of the fittest to lift up another group of people. 
But Yahuwah is sitting high and looking low, is laughing them to scorn, and their own theory is turning against them. Survival of the fittest. You know, being able to adapt to one's environment. You have to remember what he told us, the sun shall not smite thee by day. Oh, it may be hot, beloved, but that melanin can work it out. There are those who do not have it. When you talk about survival of the fittest, it gets to a point that in that theory, even the reproductive ability of those that the earth is expelling, their reproductive ability wanes. That's why we may have that Roe versus Wade reversal. But you see, the earth is a cleansing itself, okay? The sun, their people, you know, up in Greenland, Greenland is really looks like Iceland and Iceland that should have been called Greenland because foolish nations make names that are opposite themselves. You got to flip the script. Greenland has melted to the point the glaciers are just squishy, snow-covered areas. It The water is melting the glaciers are melting at such a rapid rate the sea levels are rising the earth is cleansing itself beloved you know you got to remember when that 400 years was over and what we're seeing there when you read the book of second Esdras, yahuwah isn't just talking about one group there is another group that joined with them that decided they were going to benefit. They were going to join. He's talking to Asia. And if you're here where Judah is, everything that Judah deserves reparations on, laws to stop evil and cruelty, you watch those from Asia demanding the reparations that belong to Judah. But you see, once again, he that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Yes, yes. It brings to mind Laban. When Laban, whose name means uh, white, I'm going to get, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can find it. Because I had it. It might have been on my cell phone. I lost it. He of great wickedness. Laban in Hebrew means white. It also has an interpretation of he of great wickedness. He was robbing Jacob. But you see, the Lord had called down a blessing, and it doesn't matter how hard Laban or those like him work. That blessing was coming through. That blessing was coming through. And when you think of how Jacob took those, those stakes, those, those uh, branches, he peeled back the green branches and showed the white beneath. Like Laban, we've been robbed, now give back. He made a deal for spotted and speckled sheep. Most sheep are white. He made a deal for spotted and speckled goats. Most goats are different variations of brown. But you see, when the Lord's word goes out and the judgment comes down, there's no amount of money. It doesn't matter how well you live. If the sun is baking you, if the waters are rising if those cool places are blazing. Maybe that Darwinian theory is coming about. The earth is practicing eugenics while the Most High laughs them to scorn. The thing that kept coming to me is the sun shall not smite thee by death. The sun shall not smite thee by death. This is a word, beloved. It's a very short word because when I thought about it, when it kept coming to me, 
I wanted to find uh that one piece I had, but I okay, wait a minute. Is it there? Yes. The sun shall not smite thee by day. That's what kept coming. Many of us, we know in these last days, the Lord is starting in his own house. He's cleansing the house of Yasharel. Two thirds shall not make it. Some we are going to see fall. If we scarcely make it, what's going to happen to the other nations? They are acting desperate now, changing laws, but there is a law of life. The spirit of the law of life, the law of the spirit of life has issued a decree that will not be rescinded. It is time for judgment. It is time to balance the books. The earth is bringing about that Darwinian theory they believe in. And the climate change that they are talking about that apocalyptic climate change is coming from the most high. The climate of murder shall continue no more. The climate of greed and godlessness will go no further. The climate of destroying the earth, the sea, the air, the animals, and the vegetations is over. It is a Darwinian moment. Uh, uh, as the Lord laughs them to scorn, using their own concepts against them. And that same eugenic mindset that they had. Mm. The spirit of the most high is using their theory as he laughs them to scorn. Yes, beloved, the sun shall not smite thee. Oh, you might get you a pretty little tan. You might get you a pretty little tank. Have some water with you. Okay, cover the baby's head with a light, especially newborn, with a light little cloth so the sun doesn't beat on that fontanel on top if you got a newborn. Carry on, bro. Okay, that's even better. But it shall not smite thee, beloved. It shall not. These words and these things are written for truth and for concept. We know this shall increase. We too have to be ready to go. And no matter what we have attained and acquired, there will come a point in time we have to be willing to turn our backs on it and go. I'm ready to leave this land of misery behind. I'm ready to leave the land of misery behind. But the judgment has come. It is growing exponentially, beloved. It is not something imagined and whether it's heat, fire, flood, earthquake, tornado, hurricane, lightning, fire falling from the sky is also talked about. Fire coming up through the earth because there's some lightning that comes up through the earth, beloved. The judgment has gone out we have drank it, drank the, the cup of judgment to the dregs. Now that cup, that wicked, fearsome cup has been removed and it's passed over to those who did not honor God, human life, truth, innocent blood. They are still trying to forward the judgment that is no longer in place. Shalom, beloved. This is a word. The sun shall not smite thee by day. Shalom.